power and its effect on the brain. So first of all, I want to talk about the, impor the importance of power and leadership and why it, and how it makes a good leader. And to first answer this question, I'm going to start with a quote, which comes from Proverbs chapter 29, verse 18, and it is, where there is no vision, the people perish. And to me, this quote exemplifies the importance of power and basically means with no direction or leadership, not much of anything can be accomplished at all. To continue my answer of this question, I drew from two artifacts, the first one being excerpts from democracy and the second being cultural synchrony. The first artifact I used was the excerpt from democracy, and this talked on how the government plays a huge role in the lives of the citizens in this country. And to the writer Tocqueville says that government can create, opinion, create opinions, endanger sentiments, suggest the ordinary practices of life, and modifies whatever it does not produce. And this basically means that whatever, basically every aspect of our everyday lives can be controlled by government, whether we know it or not. It is important to note that all these observations Tocqueville made were observed in America, which is important because America was starting to become a powerhouse in the, in the world and was starting to become an example for governments around it. Tocqueville also mentions people are weak or even feeble without the help of others, which means that a good leader must unite the people around them and set a common goal for them to accomplish. In this, in this positive goal, in this common goal, the leader should set a positive example in, in order to create some sort of synchrony between those around them. And this brings me on to my second artifact the, uh, from cultural synchrony. And cultural synchrony presents the idea that the leader has the power to create synchrony in their environment. And synchrony is important because uh, synchrony can create an accepting environment and, a, and, can, and even economic gain is possible through synchrony. An example of this would be through street performers. When you are singing along with a street performer, it is noted that more people are likely to donate to that street performer. Synchrony can also be bad though, as um, it can promote aggression, conformity, even destructive obedience, and blindly following the trend is never a good thing. For example, when when buying products, if everyone just buys the same product, no new businesses can be, no small businesses can gain traction, and it'll bring, cause a downfall of many small businesses, and even the consumers will like cause them monopolies. Now I want to talk about the more. I want to talk about the more specific impacts on the brain that power can bring to those who have it. So many studies have shown consistent brain activity between people who feel in control of their environment. And one experiment done had subjects take power, uh, take poses, one powerful and one seen as more conforming pose. And those in the power pose saw an increase in testosterone, while those in the conforming pose saw a decrease in testosterone. And like with stress hormones. And also with stress hormones, the people who took the power pose saw a decrease in stress hormones, while those in the conforming pose saw an increase in stress hormones. Basically showing that power does have an effect on your brain and the way it operates. Other studies have also shown that small doses of power can cause hypocrisy, moral exceptionalism, egocentric thoughts, and a lack of empathy. And a lack of empathy. Egocentricity and a lack of empathy are, det are incredibly detrimental to power and leadership because they are more likely to see others as objects or just a means to enhance. So we're more likely to use each other just to get to where we want to go, which is never a good leader, leadership trait. And finally, there's the Stanford Prison Experiment. This experiment is one of the most famous psychological studies ever conducted. And the premise of the experiment was students would either become an inmate or a guard in a simulated prison. And it was intended to measure the effect of role playing but was shut down after only six days of the experiment running due to uh, brutality and mistreatment by the, of the prisoners by the guards. The guards were noted to be, have become cruel and tyrannical during the experiment. And even the leader of the experiment was quoted as saying he felt more like a prison superintendent at times than he did as an actual, actual researcher. This experiment shows how ordinary people can be changed by the gain of power, and that means it can affect all of us. In conclusion, power and leadership are incredibly important to their respective environments and play a huge role in the success of any operation. Whether that be government or corporate, leaders need to be kept in check, otherwise the power can legitimately change the person and their thought process. Uh, Luke, did your research question go in a different direction than you originally expected? Yeah, so for, I wasn't originally going to do like any like, 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 what makes a good, a good leader because, but as I've dug more into like extras from democracy and cultural synchrony, 
that kind of made me see like, oh, they need to like set this good environment for like any, and then I can talk about like the mental effects of that as well. So I wasn't gonna do any of the social, any of the social um, uh, lens, but then I just kind of branched into that, so. Okay, thank you. Um, what additional questions emerged from your research and why are they important? Um, I kind of just like, uh, a lot of questions emerge about like finding a good leader and like what qualities make a like what qualities are like evident before you pick a good leader because it's kind of hard to find a good leader that where you can get all the benefits of good leadership without all like the corruption. Okay, thank you. Another round of applause.